How many hours did you spend on Netflix last week? Be honest. <laughs> Now imagine asking 200 people or even more that same question. You will end up with a giant messy list, right? A total chaos. So that's where group frequency table save the day. Instead of listing every single number, you organize your data into group. Let me put this clear. A group frequency table helps you to organize your data into groups. And these groups are called classes or class intervals. That's all. There's no rock science behind this. It's just simple. We got one rule though. A small data set use an ungroup frequency tables. Big data said, group frequency tables are your best friend.